Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First off, I apologize if there's any noise in the background. That's my mom making dinner. But anyways, I know I've been gone with tutorials for a little bit. I just need to take a break. I kind of like addressed that in the middle of the video. But I'm back and I'm going to be pre-filming a bunch of tutorials and other videos. So leave any requests down below. I'm going to be leaving for vacation for two weeks and then I come back for like two weeks. And then I leave again for a week. I'm going to be going to Orlando, Cancun, and Miami. So if you guys live there, let me know also down below. But anyways, I just filmed this invisible liner tutorial. This was inspired by Stacey Marie anyway. I'll leave her at down here. And this has just been going all over Instagram and Twitter. So I thought I would hop on the trend and do like a basic kind of brown gold eye with the invisible liner defined with my favorite NYX blue liner which I actually ran out of in the middle of this video. I'm just gonna stop rambling now if you'd like to see how I achieve this look then please just keep on watching. I feel like my face looks really red right now but I'm just really hot because I had to switch my filming room so I just spent the last two hours running around moving stuff and now I'm like dying and I can't have my fan going up because it's so loud. But anyway to start off my eyes I'm gonna be using my EMH Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to be taking the shades Burnt Orange and Raw Sienna and mixing those into my crease as my transition shade. I'm going to be taking this orange shade Real Lore and just blending that into my crease. I'm blending this shade, I'm still letting Burnt Orange and Raw Sienna show through. I just wanted to keep defining and building up colors to get a nice gradient. I'm going to be taking the shade Red Ochre and just blending that to my crease under Real Gar. I'm mostly focusing this shade in my crease because I do want that gradient, but I'm still leaving enough room to add one more shade. Now I'm really going to be defining my crease with the shade Cypress Umber. This shade I'm also going to be dragging down to my outer corner because I am going to be creating a half cut crease. And now I'm just taking a clean fluffy brush to blend to make sure I don't have any harsh lines between Red Ochre and Cypress Umber. Now I'm going to be going in with the Violet Boss and Laura Lee palette and taking the shade Hissy Fit and using that as my shimmer shade to make the half cut crease. I want this shimmer shade to look really, really foiled so I'm just going to be spraying a flat synthetic brush to get it extremely pigmented. This is a little bit more gold than I wanted it to be so I'm going to be mixing Hissy Fit with a little bit of a tickled paint. Now I'm just blending Cypress Umber into the gold with a little pencil brush just to make sure it's really blended and there's no weird gold lines. I'm going to be using concealer to draw my wing and then I'm going to outline it after so that you can still see it and it's not a complete like invisible wing. But I'm just going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light. And I'm going to be going with my NYX Vivid Brights Liner in Vivid Sapphire just to outline the wing. Sorry if there's any noise that my room is currently being put together, but I'm going to be priming my face with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I've also been having a really bad problem with my pores lately, so I am going to be filling in the pores around my nose and like on my cheeks and stuff with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Smoothing Primer. 
I find that smoothing and pore filling primers work the best if I push it on and then pull down. It just feels even better than just rubbing it in. The foundation I'm going to be using today is the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation and I'm in the shade 127. I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Neutral to conceal and highlight my face. Not wearing makeup for two weeks really helped my skin. I don't know. My foundation is just going on better. It's more hydrated. And I've been using the same skincare too, but it's just a lot better now. But honestly, guys, I don't even know how I got through two weeks of wearing no makeup. Like, I just wanted to take a break from social media for a minute just because there was a lot of shit going on. And I just couldn't handle it, to be honest. But now I'm back. I'm good. And I'm so happy to wear no makeup again. I'm going to be using two products to set my face today. I'm going to be setting my under eyes with my CoverFX Perfect Setting Powder in the shade Translucent Light. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in Medium 2. I'm just baking where I conceal and the rest of my face I'm going to set with the powder. bronzing with my NARS Laguna bronzer. I love this bronzer. It's like the perfect shade for my skin tone. Since all my makeup is packed up right now and I forgot to grab a contour kit before I started filming, I'm just... Anyway, I'm just using my Makeup Peak Infidelity and Bad Habit Contour Powder. You guys know these are my absolute favorite contour products. I really like the way my face turned out by setting it with the Charlotte Tilbury Powder. It looks just extra poured, filled in, or something. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm using these same Makeup Peak Contour Powders to contour my nose as well. Yeah, my nose is kind of so easy now that I took a break from makeup because my skin is just so much more hydrated. Before when I would contour my nose, I would have to fight it like separating my foundation because my skin was that dry. Hey guys, again, I'm sorry if you guys a fan, it's just so hot in here. But I'm going to be using the Benefit Coralista Blush today, just to give my cheeks a little peachy color. I have this pimple on my jawline, it looks like a mosquito bite. And nothing's covering it, it's still showing through red. I'm going to be setting my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, and then highlighting with my Kylie Highlighter in Cotton Candy Cream. really nice. I like this shade and the formula, but I don't know why people aren't liking these. The Z palette ruined Vermeer. There's like a big gash in it and that's really sad because it was a really pretty palette and I actually didn't destroy it yet. But anyway, I'm going to be going in with a Burnt Orange, Raw Sienna, and Real Gar on my lower lash line. This mirror is so dirty. It's getting so difficult for me to do my eyeshadow in. It's my favorite one because it's like the perfect size. And I'm really complaining about like first world problems, but it's really dirty. And I don't want to clean it with a makeup wipe because it just really makes it worse and streaky. So if you know what I should use without like damaging the actual bronzer, let me know. Update on my mirror. Just kidding, it was just dusty, I guess, from the product, but now it's all good. Now I'm gonna be going in with Cypress Umber and just smudging that right below my lower lash line. Yeah, I highlight my brow bone and inner corner with Primavera from the Modern Renaissance palette. 
Brighten up my eyes by lining my waterline with the Tarte Inner Rim Liner. I'm going to be using Posh by Ridley Cosmetics, and I'll leave my discount code somewhere down here as well as in my description box. For my lips today, I'm going to be using the ABH Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stripped. This is the final look. It's a lot easier to achieve than I thought. I just used concealer for the wing and then defined it and that made it super easy. And I like the way it turned out. I wouldn't wear this every day. I just don't like the way it looks on my eyes. But I think it's such a cool idea. And I do like the way it would look in close-up pictures. I do want to mention before this video ends that you should definitely be checking out my Instagram and Twitter right now. I have a super cool giveaway going on. And the rules are on Instagram or Twitter. Whatever social media you have, you can enter both ways. But there is extra entries, you can have me on Snapchat. If you're entering on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and vice versa if you're entering on Instagram. But all of my social medias are down in the description box as always. I just want to throw that in to let any of you guys know that don't follow me on my other social medias. I do have a super cool giveaway going on right now, and I'm going to be doing plenty more in the future. Um, if you would want to comment some ideas down below, feel free. I'm currently planning a huge one, and I'm so close to 10,000 subscribers, that's crazy. I'm going to be uploading my makeup collection soon. I don't know why I'm rambling so much, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you turn on my notifications so when I upload my next video, you won't miss out. Bye!